Hello everybody. Uh, sorry I haven't posted a video for a long time. I didn't anticipate on that, but I have had a literally an all summer and fall project. And right here she sits what's left of it right now. This is a 2006 Articat 400 TRV four wheel drive. It's the green version, automatic. Uh, so this is a project for my dad. Actually, it's my dad's four wheeler. It somehow became my project. Anyway, I'll try. I'll try to make this short and sweet. I need some help, and I'm kind of at my my wits end. I don't know what else to try right at the moment. Um, when he first got this four wheeler, it was uh, beginning of summer, and it needed um, this intake manifold boot. The one was on it was busted uh the person that had it last they tried to put the carburetor back on or something and stuck a screwdriver through it so it was sucking air okay we got that got that part and ended up having to buy a new uh carburetor the old one it this has an automatic choke on it and i think the old one i guess where it had set or maybe got mud in it because this thing was literally caked on with mud it, it was horrible um i got five gallons of dirt off of it and there's still more left okay anyway so we bought a new carburetor and uh i got a new uh a gas pump fuel pump because it wasn't seem like it was pumping gas right well i finally got we finally got that working and i got it running and uh, it would idle. It would idle great. Sounded good. But whenever you go to rev the engine, it would bog out and die. And I tried adjusting the carburetor, the throttle, nothing helped. Well, it's the last time when it died, it wouldn't start back up and um, kept grinding on it and ended up, uh, I think, burning the, the starter up because I took it apart and one of the magnets was busted in it. Okay, so we had to get a new one of those. Since then, I haven't got this four-wheeler to run. Um, we had hooked a, a regular battery up to it to try to make sure we had enough cranking apps to keep cranking on it and try to figure out, you know, problem solving, figure out why it wasn't actually starting up and running. So, uh, in between waiting on parts to come in and with everything the way that's been this summer with um, shipments and stuff, it took a while and um, I couldn't remember how certain things like the battery, the connections went back and some other stuff, some wires. So I had a neighbor helping me and we had uh, one of the wires on the sol solenoid. It was hooked up wrong. We had a ground wire, an extra ground wire going to the solenoid and the battery or something like that. Well, anyway, when that happened, um, the wires got really hot. And, uh, so we stopped with that and I ended up taking the, the side cover off of the motor where the state and the flywheel are at. Well, one of the magnets was loose on the flywheel and trying to save money, I tried to glue it back and another one came loose. So instead of making matters worse, we bought a new flywheel and a stator one. Now, they are aftermarket because they were the cheapest option that I could go with right at the moment. Um, getting this thing with the gears right on it, I cannot get it to where I get low gear. I can get reverse, neutral, and high, but I can't get the sweet spot in it to where I have all, all the gears like I'm supposed to have. I don't know which ratio it is. And um, if... If anybody could help me and they would be interested to make a com leave a comment in this video and I can um, make another one to take everything off and show you how everything is and how I've got it right now. Or if you can provide pictures or an actual link that I can look at to, to do the gear ratio, that would be greatly appreciated because I've downloaded a repair manual for this and I can't seem to find... The way the gears are supposed to be all right so uh we bought several solenoids because 
um, it kept clicking and it wouldn't turn over. So I thought maybe we got a bad solenoid. All right. Went through all that, bought those, went through that, bought another CDI box here recently. And every time that I would go to hook it up, it would blow the ignition fuse. I've went through the entire wires. Um, there was some that had some, some wire showing. So I taped them back up and I made sure nothing was making a, a false ground or anything like that. Um, there may be a few inches that I didn't, couldn't reach because of where the, like the frames and stuff were at. And the last part that we bought was a new, um, push start button. And we finally got it to where it'll actually turn over, but I don't have spark. We bought a new, um, Oh, I'm sorry. My mind goes blank. <laughs> we bought a new one of these. And because I thought maybe this went bad because I was trying to trace where I had connections and where I didn't. And I would have connections all the way up to here. Now, this was, sorry, this was before we bought the new start button and um, tried the new CDI box. So I was getting fired everywhere until I reached the ignition solenoid here i think that's what it's called i'm sorry if it's not right um i wouldn't i would get spark to here i mean i would get fire to here but from here to my spark plug i wasn't getting anything and that's still the case with the new start button um i finally got it to hit but like i said now i'm at a standstill of why i'm not getting spark i don't understand what i'm missing there's something that I'm overlooking, and I don't know what that could be. So, if anybody could tell me how to check the inline fuses, um, the ones that are made into the four-wheeler. Um, trying to find an example to show you real quick. Like this right here. One of these inline fuses. If anybody could tell me how to check those, where I'm supposed to put the ground or connect a, um, have a ground lead to it somebody can explain that to me i don't know anything about electrical stuff when it comes to that i'm very extremely new to that i don't really know how to use a voltmeter until i unless i look at something and go lead by example um i know this isn't a neat nice little video and i apologize for that um like i said i've literally spent uh i'd say a good six months on this sucker and It's been it's been my headache this year and so if somebody could really help me appreciate get this thing running and getting it out of my hair you don't know how much i'd be appreciative of that um so please uh if you know anything about this type of four-wheeler um have any links that i could look at uh pictures pictures of the the gear diagram down here the ratio of where the where this gear is supposed to be with the river in reference to the neutral reverse low and high i'd really appreciate that because i i have been through everything with that and when i pulled this off when i first pulled it off this gear the the gear selector it was stuck in here around the rubber it was sealed onto it and I wasn't, I don't guess I was paying enough attention and didn't realize that that was supposed to, I should have kept that in where it was at. So that's my fault. It came off and uh, I lost what direction it was supposed to be in. So I'm begging for help. Um, and like I said, if anybody would like for me to make another video to take the side cover off and to show you what I've got and how everything is located right now the way it looks i can do that just please let me know in the comments and i really appreciate it and again i'm sorry for the delay in videos but i was i wanted to make a video going through step by step with this but i had my neighbor helping me and i didn't feel comfortable um videoing everything with them around and so most of the time it's a lot easier for me to do this when i'm by myself so i can actually concentrate and and know what i'm trying to say and what i'm asking for and stuff like that so i hope y'all are doing great hope you had a great thanksgiving for those who celebrated it and um 
hope you have a Merry Christmas. If by some chance I don't get a video out before then, I really hope to. Um, had issues with my laptop. My, my screen's going out my laptop. I'm I'm hoping that I, the part I ordered for it will fix it. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see with that. So leave a like if you want. Um, hope you subscribe. I'm really trying at this. So any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching and have a great day, evening, morning, night, whichever, however you're watching this. I appreciate it. I'll talk to y'all later.